Oh, y'all, I just learned the greatest thing. I don't even know how to classify. I don't even know what it is, okay? I, I was listening um, to a video on lunch break. Keep my mind sharp, do some learning, because it's different every time. And I have established a process by which I do this with each video. Doesn't matter if it's Naughty, if it's Steve, if it's Jeffrey, if it's Derek, if it's Bo, it doesn't matter. Um, Dana Ashley, um, there's so many, I mean, the ones that I listen to, it doesn't matter. I have the same process that I use when the videos come out. And it took me um, a very short amount of time um, when I first started this to come up with this process because I, I get distracted so easily because the brain trauma and the, the injury and the PTSD. So, um, I mean, come on, y'all, listen to me, right? <laughs> so I get distracted. And so I had to find a way to get through the lessons because um, some of the Derek's first lessons were kind of long and um, and they were so like wow and they were so true and so it took a while to get through them and I have to watch them more than once right so I came up with a process to streamline that so the first time I listen to any video it's like eyes are closed ears are open no distractions that are visual and focus on the words right and then the second time through eyes and ears open father's eyes father's ears not my eyes not my ears I see and hear lies the third time through is just to make sure I got everything right, pick up anything I might have missed. And that's where I started with each new lesson is three times through. And I do that for a very good reason because my eyes lie. My eyes see lies. I talked about that in the video on healing when I was reading from the psychotherapy portion um, of the Course in Miracles book. And it was, I think it was under section number two, it was talking about how our eyes and our ears work to deceive us, to show us only what is pleasant and let us hear only that which we agree with. Um, so having recognized that a while ago, just not being able to verbalize it, um, I knew to close my eyes if I want to focus long term. So I was listening and my eyes were closed and there was a break and there was no words. And in that moment, I noticed when my eyes were closed, the canvas, the background is black. It's not white, it's black, it's dark and not light. The canvas by which we function is, as Derek has said, black. All colors combined create black. So when we close our eyes and it's dark, what we are visualizing, we are pulling out of the palette of color that is available to us in that blackness. If we closed our eyes and the palette was white, we would have to add into it right and if you add into it where's that coming from that's from us from our own what we want to add into it oh my gosh that is so cool i am i'm not smart y'all so no i didn't just like make that up it came to me a bit black is all colors when you close your eyes it's not light it's dark and what you visualize comes out of the darkness present it to you not add it into the lightness by you <sighs> wow Okay, this training class is taking a lot out of me. We're only at lunchtime and I need a nap. Instead, I'll probably hit the coffee stand and make this video for you. You know, I may not understand why I'm making videos or things that I'm saying sometimes, but they always seem to come around later and be relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and post this mess because I'm pretty sure it's going to be relevant in the future. But, like, have you ever thought about that, you know? When you close your eyes, it's dark, not light. Because it could be either way. I mean, the inversions, binary system. It could be either way, but yeah, I don't know. I gotta go. Just something that came from the Well Training Center today. Thought I'd share it with you. Just because.